Orphans by Coldplay is going to be played in standard tuning, and I'll show you two different ways that you can play it, one using a capo and standard chords. And in fact, let me just start with that. So what I played in the intro is kind of uh, the way that I transposed the song to try to emulate the bass part, which is what is most recognizable about that song, that driving. But if you just want to play standard chords, if you capo on the second fret of the guitar, we will play a G chord to a C chord and then an E minor chord. And those are the three chords. Like um, to get the rhythm, it would just be a very driving down, up, down, up, 16th notes, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it'd be a G chord to a G chord to a C chord to an E minor chord and repeat. Uh, the way the G chord is being made is ring finger to the 6th string, 3rd fret relative to the capo, 2nd finger to the 5th string, 2 fret relative to the capo, open 4, open 3, open 2, and pinky finger on the 1 string 3rd fret. The C chord, I would play it as a 4 fingered C chord with ring finger on the 6th string, 3 fret, pinky finger on the 5 string, 3 fret, 2nd finger on the 4 string, 2 fret, open 3, first finger on the two string one fret and open one string and then your E minor chord would be an open six second finger on the five string two fret ring finger on the four string two fret open three open two open one but if you want to get that feel uh, like the thing that I like most about the song again the driving bass rhythm I would play it as bar chords or really kind of um, almost a, this it would be an A5 to a D5 to an F sharp minor. So I've got my first finger on the six string five fret, ring finger on the five string seven fret, pinky finger on the four string seven fret, and that's all that I'm fretting and I'm palm muting by laying the palm of my hand right across the uh, saddle of the guitar so that whenever I strum my downs and ups, I'm just having a string six, four, and five come through. And then after down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, you would go. That is, I'm using my pinky finger uh, to start on the four string nine fret and slide up to the four string 11 fret. And then back down to the four string nine fret. And that, uh, that movement right there would repeat after every chord or after every round. And if you don't like that slide, sometimes I play it where I basically use my first finger on the four string uh, nine fret, and then I hammer on with my ring finger to the four string 11 fret, and then come back to first finger on the four string nine fret. And then you would go to a D5 chord, so I'm moving uh, really, probably the best way to do it would be if you've got your A chord going there, just lift up your ring finger and that turns it into a D chord. So now your first finger is barring the 5 fret of string 5, your first finger is also barring the 5 fret of string 6, and your pinky finger is still on the 7 fret of string 4. There's your D, and then out of this you would hit the however you want to do it, and then the F sharp minor is going to be made with two fingers, and I like this version of it because it keeps the sentiment of the rising progression, like the bass starts low, rises to the D, and then rises to the F sharp, so we can follow that same rising progression, and that F sharp would be made with, I've got my ring finger on the five string nine fret, and my first finger on the four string seven fret. And I'm just playing those two strings with my pick, the five and four string that I've got fretted. And then with the pinky, put it down on the four string nine fret and slide it up to the four string 11 fret, back down to the four string nine fret, and then back down to the A. Um, at the end of each verse, it sounds like you've got this chord ring out and then this chord. So what that is, is I've got my pinky finger on the four string four fret, my first finger on the three string two fret, 
and my second finger on the two string three fret. And I'm strumming from the open five down to the open one. After that chord, it sounds like it plays this chord, which now I've got my pinky finger on the five string nine fret and my first finger barring across the seventh fret of strings four, three, and two. So basically from one version of a D to another version of a D, but. And then back into the chorus, now it would be the chorus rhythm of. wasn't the cleanest version of it right there, but you get the idea. So those are the chords and movements in two different ways that you can think about approaching Orphans by Coldplay. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.